Hey, honey. <laughs> come here. Come here, come here, come here. I want to give you a big hug. Come here. Mm. <laughs> oh, I missed you so much today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I don't want to let go. Mm -mm. Mine. Mine, 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 mine. Mm, I don't want to let you go. <laughs> You're mine forever. Hmm? <laughs> mm, I love you too. Ah, uh, yeah, get comfy, get comfy, get comfy, comfy, comfy. And there you go. <laughs> How are you, baby? Did you have a good day? Tell me about your day. You know, you know what? I want to hear about your day. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just vibing right now. I just put the the washing on, as you can probably hear. Why is that like? As soon as the dryer turns on, it's like everything vibrates. Why is it so intense? Anyway, beside the point, I'm just chilling right now and I want to hear about your day. Are you doing anything right now? No? Cool. I, I take that then as you're committing to sit with me mm -hmm. for a while, a long time. <laughs> uh, just tell me about your day, dummy. What'd you get up to? Mm hmm. Mm. What else? You had that thing you were doing today, did, didn't you? Mm hmm. How'd it go? Nice, 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 nice. Was there, was there any stress? Was there any painful part to the day? Or was it okay? Okay-ish? Like a 7 out of 10? 8 out of 10? 6.5 maybe? <laughs> Big hug. Ugh. You know what, how about you tell me one, what's one good thing that happened today? There's always at least one. Yeah. What's one good thing that happened today? Nice. See, I told there's always something, right? That's that's the spirit positive mindset. I love it. I love to hear it. <laughs> I will make sure at least one more good thing happens today. And that is in the form of a hug. <laughs> I've realized, yes, I've already given you a hug. Okay, well, then there's multiple good things happening, all right? Quit complaining. <laughs> but hey, you're home now. We can relax. We got nothing to do but chill out, listen to the obnoxiously loud dryer for whatever reason. <laughs> I'll cook up some food later and, uh,. I don't know, we can watch TV or something. And just... I don't know. I kind of just want to be with you right now. Is that... Is that is that okay? Can I just be with you? <laughs> Does this sound good? Hell yeah. <laughs> I like the way you think. <laughs> My day. My day was... was alright, I guess. It was pretty... Pretty chill. Just, uh, I feel like I'm saying that a lot. I'm pretty chill right now, in case that wasn't abundantly uh, obvious. <laughs> I don't know. Work. Uh, I got a busy week next week. But right now, I'm not worried about that, because that's later. <laughs> and right now, everything is done. I wrapped up a bunch of projects. A lot of ongoing projects are going well. So that's, you know, always good for the brain. To not have to worry about things falling apart. I can just sort of be like, okay, everything's everything's on track, everything's under control. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I'm in a good, 
good place for now. Right, for now, that sounds so foreboding and cynical. Things are great. <laughs> mm. mm-hmm. And things are even better now, because I've got you with me. Yeah, I got you nice and close, and I'm not going to let you get away. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really mm, huggy tonight. Clingy? Attached? All of those words? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just want to be close to you. Is it such a crime? Is it a sin to want to be close to my absolutely Beautiful part. Have, have, babe, have I told you that you look, like, stunning today? No, like, for real. I feel like I, I didn't really see you much this morning. And now I'm just like, damn. <laughs> I'm not joking, no. I'm being serious. You look good. I'm, I'm a fan. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, shush. You're beautiful. Mwah. <laughs> so what are your plans for tomorrow then, my dear? My darling, light of my life. Any any things you're planning to do? Mm-hmm. Me, well, I was actually thinking, I want to take you out on a date. Yeah. I know, a date. Uh, yeah, you could say, I am I am asking you out. Yeah, I, I mean, it's embarrassing to admit this, but, babe, I think I have, like, a crush on you. No, I know, right? It's, yeah, I mean, it's been, like really long time now and I just think we get along really well <laughs> okay <laughs> I do legit though I do like actually have a crush on you is that strange like what do I mean well like you still give me like butterflies and stuff and like you know, how do I explain this? Your texts, when you, like, text me, I'm like, I get a notification on my phone, and I'm like, could that be them? And I'm like, oh, I'm excited. And then I see it is you, and I'm like, ooh. I don't know. The <laughs> my, like, uh, what my stomach does, like a somersault. <laughs> my heart does a somersault. Whatever the saying is, you know. Either way, I... I'm just, uh, guess I'm just in love with you. Sue me. <laughs> I love you too. But yeah, date. I, the, uh, the only thing is, I, yeah, I, I don't know what I want to do <laughs> with you. <laughs> or what we should do, I guess. I know I want to go out with you, but, uh, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure what we should do. We went to the movies recently. And we went to the park the other day. And uh, we visited that museum. It's kind of boring. I mean, some museums are cool. That one wasn't... Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> it wasn't as thrilling. But, uh... I, no, I've got like a bunch of ideas, though for what we could do. Um, I guess we can we can figure it out now if you want. Does that mean you're accepting my proposal to take you out on a date? <gasps> Baby. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Ah, <laughs> mm. <sighs> Yes, the date ideas... There's a, it's kind of a thing, right? There's a lot of things I'd want to do with you. What's some cool, cool, I got a lot of interesting ideas. <laughs> well, like what? Well, okay, let's start off with the, the tame ones, right? And then I'll get into the more extravagant ideas. 
we could go ice skating. That's always pretty fun. It's always entertaining to see who falls over first. Uh, and it's a great excuse to hold your hand. So I'll take that. That's that's always a plus. <laughs> I know how lewd holding hands in public. Babe. Damn. <laughs> um, on another note, that's, that's also... I enjoy watching horror movies with you. Because... Uh, <laughs> It's it, it's not always a, a binary thing either. Who gets scared? It's uh, it's not just me or it's not just you. It's kind of often it's both of us. <laughs> so we end up in uh, each other's arms quite frequently. Um, but that's that's always a cute thing. I don't know if there's any horror movies out at the cinema right now. Maybe we could look. Um, ooh, I had an idea the other day. Did you ever play with, like, Lego when you were a kid? I played with it a lot. <laughs> like, I was raised by Lego. It made me who I am. <laughs> but no, I was thinking we could go to, like, the store and buy, like, a big, like, Lego set or something, right? Like, one of those really massive things and just, like, make it together. <laughs> I think that'd be kind of cute. Well, yeah, because, you know, it's, sometimes it's nice to have a date date that isn't, you know, we don't have to go out somewhere. We don't have to dress up or anything. We can just, you know, stay in our pajamas and do something at home in the comfort of our own home. Yeah. Do you like that idea? I think it's a cool idea. <laughs> um, what else? 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 What um, we could um, sorry, have some uh, nostalgia for when we when we went went and saw the uh, was it Shooting Stars? Oh, what was it? Uh, it was yeah, yeah, yeah. But what's the what's it called? Was it like a uh, a meteor shower? That's the that's the word. Yeah, when we went and saw the media show, we could go to the... I think there's an observatory, like, to the north somewhere. I don't think... I think it's, like, 30 minutes drive. Uh, yeah, we could get, like... I think they have, like, public sort of, like, smaller telescopes you can use there. I think it's, like, a whole... You can do tours or something. Um, but I don't know. It'd be cool to look at, like, planets and stuff. And it'd be cool to have, like, a date at night. You know, usually... We do stuff during the day, but I don't know. Something outdoors at night could be could be nice. Could be could be cool. <laughs> did you ever get into? I guess we talked about this a while ago. Uh, did you ever did you ever get into astronomy stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I vibe with that a couple. Like, <laughs> you ever just like watch those like hour long YouTube videos about like black that's usually something you'd watch at like 3 a.m. and you're like you know what now is the time to learn this information <laughs> this is imperative sleep no 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 black holes gravity physics now is the time <laughs> to learn this <laughs> yeah I think it'd be cool to like go see the planets and, and like nebula and stuff through like a telescope I probably, probably couldn't see nebula through a telescope but I digress that's an idea. Um, what else could we do? What are some of your ideas? Pitch me an idea. Uh -huh. It's like, uh, it'll be like Shark Tank or whatever. I'll invest if you give a good enough sales pitch. <laughs> $50 million for a 50% stake. <laughs> Okay, I'll shut up. <laughs> what's what's uh, what's one of your date ideas? Oh, oh, I like that. Uh huh. That'd be cool. I like that's actually a cool idea. <laughs> oh man, now that idea sounds better than like all of mine. <laughs> 
Oh, I know, I know, I know. Hey, we can just do them all, <laughs> ultimately. <laughs> we don't have to really just pick one. I mean, we can pick one to do first, but there's nothing saying we can't just do all of these. <laughs> yeah, I want to go on lots of dates with you. Lots and lots and lots of dates. <laughs> ah, but what else? Okay. What, you want to hear about the... <laughs> The ones I alluded to earlier. The more spicy <laughs> dates. Okay, well, let me clarify what I mean by spicy. There's just some, uh, I don't know, there's like, you ever just get those like weird fantasies of like, there's just things you want to do once, you know, just to, I don't know. I hate to say it because it's an incredibly cringe thing at this point, but you do only live once, right? <laughs> YOLO. Uh, I don't know. I think it's... Uh, i got a few things I'd want to do, just call them bucket list things, whatever. It's going to be hella embarrassing to say these, by the way, but just go with it, okay? <laughs> Indulge me. Okay, I'll say the first one. So, actually, I, I kind of got, like, two this combines okay I'll just, <laughs> I'll just say it <laughs> shush, 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 shush. I will poke you because you're being impatient <laughs> when I'm trying to stall <laughs> okay well like uh, the other day the other week a week ago whatever time period it was shortly prior in history uh we had, like, a a work event thing, and they brought in, like, these opera singers, basically, like, proper professional opera singers, and I've kind of always had a thing for, like, plays, and I've never su super been interested in opera, per se, um, but after, like, watching them perform and, like, sing and stuff, there's some, I think it's just something about, like, the Italian, or is it Latin? Oh god. Is it Latin or Italian? Latin? I think it's Latin, right? Opera is usually in Latin, right? I'm gonna Google this real quick. Is opera in Latin? Oh, it's, it's a Google suggestion. See, I'm not the only one who doesn't know. It is, uh, most operas are not sung in Latin. This is because opera originated in the 16th century when Latin wasn't spoken. Is that, is that, is that a thing? Man, now I'm just on a... Sorry, I'll get back to the idea. I just need to know this. Uh, it's Italian. There you go. If you didn't know already, which you probably did because you're smarter than I am, I swear. Now you know. Anyway, Italian. There's something about it it being an Italian um, that's kind of, I don't know, it makes, like, the storytelling of what they're singing and performing kind of more fantastical. Because you don't, you, I, well, I don't understand it, obviously, but you can tell that there's a whole sort of world they're creating and, and recounting through this music. Um, I don't know, there's just something magical about it. Whatever. <laughs> don't make me explain myself yet. I don't even know what I'm saying. Either way, I was like, you know what? It might be cool to see, like, an opera performance. And, like, if you're going to do it right, we should get super fancy clothing. Like, we should dress to the nines. Like, go out and get some really fancy clothes. Because it's like, it's just not a thing, usually, that you'd, that we would do. Like, you know, I mean, we're both pretty, <laughs> on occasion, lazy, if you will, staying in pyjamas and, you know, work clothes or whatever. It's not very often that you get a chance to be super formal, right? So I'm like, you know, let's just be one of those people <laughs> for, like, a day. Let's go see an opera and, like, I don't know, drink champagne <laughs> pretend uh, we're part of that little, you know, rich people part of society <laughs> for a day or whatever, I don't know. 
But another thing on that was uh, a thing I've always wanted to do. And again, this is somewhat embarrassing to admit. But I would like to take you ballroom dancing. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. Again, it's like, uh, you know, get dressed up fancy. I always envision it in my head, like, in this big cathedral. And it's just, like, you and me. And then there's, like, I guess, like, a mini orchestra or something. I don't know. The idea is not fully fleshed out in my brain. I'm sorry. But, I don't know. Maybe we can... <laughs> this is so out of character for me as well, which is why... <laughs> I mean, yes, you are laughing for a good reason here, but, like, I'm not a ballroom dancer by any stretch of the imagination. That is, like, so far from my style. It's hilarious, but that's kind of why I would want to do it, I guess. Um, plus, I think it'd be cool to do dancing with you, and especially that kind of dancing. It's very... I don't know, it can be pretty intimate, and I think there's something... Again, it, it leans into the whole opera culture. I mean, this is like orchestra stuff, but like, there's something really magical about that atmosphere that that creates. Yeah, what, what do you think? Is that is that a, is that? <laughs> oh, you do like the idea? Okay, well, I was terrified for a second there. I was just coming off as a crazy person. <laughs> mm, you're sweet. Okay, well then, segueing off of that, here's the real... Okay, so the, like I said, it wasn't super spicy. It was just very sort of out of character from normal dates. This one's spicy. Are you ready for this? This is a... This is kind of along the same lines of, you know, semi-living a different life from the normal one we lead. And it's also kind of just a... a a prank, in a way. Hear me out. What we do, right, is you and me, we both get, like, Victorian-era clothing. There's a brand called Killstar, which is, like, my favourite, like, clothing brand, as you know. But they sell a lot of, uh, like, gothic-style stuff, right? But they also sell gothic-style stuff that is, like, real gothic like we're talking like the frilly you know neck cuff and coat and stuff that looks like it's from the like 16 1700s or whatever <laughs> so what i'm thinking is we get that we we put on like super pale makeup and we get really subtle like canine extensions you see where I'm going with this? We basically cosplay as vampires. <laughs> Hear me out, this gets better. But we we just but we do it very casually, right? Super low key. It's like we can go the whole like fashion style of it, but still keeping it somewhat modern. So we do this, right? We perfect the look. And we get into, like, a character. And we go to a restaurant. Like, a really fancy restaurant or something. And we just, like, go out of our way to order very specific things. <laughs> we order red wine. Like, rare steak. Anything that is red. Or, like, hints at vampirism. And, you know, we show the teeth on occasion, and we just don't ever acknowledge it, basically. We just pretend that everything's completely normal, and we just see how many people we can freak out. <laughs> just like, I just feel like that would be so entertaining, because it's just like, people would be like, they wouldn't really believe it. They'd be like, why, are, why would two people, like, cosplay as vampires and be at this restaurant and that's the thing we wouldn't put on a super in like crazy act we would just do it so normally and act as though this was 
just a day-to-day thing, and then leave, and we would confuse the absolute hell out of so many people. (laughs) Because they'd be like, were they actually vampires? I told you, it's a dumb idea. I just think it would be hilarious. What do you think? (laughs) Yeah, it, it is dumb. It is dumb, but amazing at the same time. You cannot deny the genius. But could you just imagine, just like, be super pale, put like red contacts in, and just never point it out. If people like mention it, you'll be like, what are you, what are you talking about? And we just put on like, very posh accents. And just like, act as though we've come from the past or something, and we've just like, <laughs> lived for 800 years. <laughs> well... On that lovely note, that's the end of the list that I have in my brain uh, that I can think of at the moment. <laughs> that's probably a good spot to um, for me to stop <laughs> coming up with ideas. Maybe I'll leave... Uh, maybe it's best if I leave the ideas to you. Maybe you will uh, come up with a bit more of s- sane suggestions? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, I told you it was silly. But hey, the earlier ideas were good too. We can do those. Are you sure you don't want to be a vampire with me? Not even, well... I mean, babe, if you're not a vampire now, then there's only really one option. I'm just going to have to bite your neck. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You are now a vampire. You have received the vampire's kiss. I'm sorry, my dear, but you are now part of the cult. The 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 what's a group of vampires called? A bat. <laughs> a, a a blood. A uh, I don't know. Either way, welcome to the fam. You are now a vampire. <laughs> no, shut up, you're silly. <laughs> but hey, we don't have to decide now. We've got all day to decide. And then ah, we can figure out what to do tomorrow. There is no rush. I really liked your idea as well, so I'm kind of leaning towards that. Oh, you liked my ideas. I see... I see us having... Many a debate trying to figure this out. <laughs> Figuring out which... Do for, maybe we'll just put all of them in a hat. And then just pick one out. Maybe. <laughs> Either way, as long as I get to spend time with you, I'm... I'm a happy guy. Mm-hmm. Very, very, very happy. Mm. I'm always happy with you. Any time I get to spend with you is good. Good, 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 good. Mm -hmm. It's almost like I love you or something. Babe, I thought we'd been over this. I literally asked you out and told you I had a crush on you. Like, ten minutes ago. Come on now. (laughs) Mm Mm-hmm. I love you too. Okay. (laughs) I guess I'll go make food. Do you want to help me? Yeah. My little kitchen helper. Nice. Okay. And then we can sit on the couch and watch a movie or something. And then we can head to bed, okay? Sound good? Okay. Okay. Come on, my little vampire. (laughs) Oh, you're... Oh, okay, you're just stuck on top of me. Okay, well, I need to... You know what I need to do? I need to turn into a bat. (laughs) Being a vampire at this point would be very helpful because I could just turn into a bat and fly away. (laughs) All right, come on. Up we get. (sighs) 
<laughs> I love you, baby. Mm. <laughs>